Um, what's the current mood in Spain uh, regarding uh, Anglo-Spanish relations uh, post-Brexit? Look, I think a lot of Spanish people are, are disappointed uh, that we're leaving, a lot are worried uh, by the consequences uh, of our departure. We have an extraordinarily strong relationship with Spain, 60 billion commercial relationship, hundreds of thousands of our citizens who live in each other's countries. I was just talking today to some of the Brits who live in Andalusia. So there is you know, there's understandable worry about it. Uh, and I think the important thing is that our two governments are trying to work together to ensure in particular that we protect the rights of ordinary people, citizens, uh, as we move forward, whether they be Britons who live in Spain or Spaniards who live in the UK. But also an opportunity perhaps for Spain to gain greater weight in the European club as well. Well, I mean, I think they, they aspire, obviously, to, to play a greater role in Europe um, and as, as we leave. It's understandable. Um, but I think you know, we want to, to have a very strong relationship with the European Union and its member states afterwards. And you know, we've, we've got uh, a very strong history uh, with Spain, uh, a very strong contemporary reality in those commercial and human links. Uh, and we need to work a little bit harder in future outside the European Union. Uh, to ensure that that relationship continues to thrive. And the golden question, I think, um, in your capacity, Gibraltar and Spain, future relationships post-Brexit, how do you see it? Look, uh, I think we've made some really important progress over the last few months uh, on that, and despite some of the rhetoric uh, that we hear and despite some of the press reporting. Uh, the memorandums of understanding we agreed, the protocol we agreed, working together as three governments, Spain, Gibraltar and the UK, really intensive, sometimes difficult discussions, constructive discussions, which focused most of all on what matters, I hope, to ordinary people on both sides of the border, prosperity, security. Uh, and I really hope that we can work in that same spirit in the future, inside or outside the European Union. You talk about progress, but uh, recently, uh, perhaps uh, relationships perhaps soured. We've seen a change of language. Uh, on the part of Spain. Um, we've seen uh, right-wing parties enter Andalusia, obviously mm -hmm. a very important area joined uh, to Gibraltar. Do you think relationships have soured? Look, I think our re relationships are, are very deep-rooted, uh, and so I regret some of uh, the rhetoric, uh, but I think we need to focus on the practical things that we've agreed and to try and keep our eyes on the prize. And, and the prize is an important one. The prize is that we can all work together, Gibraltar, the UK, Spain, in the interest of prosperity and security in this whole area. Uh, there's a lot to do, and I think, you know, Gibraltar is this extraordinary place that I've been so privileged to get to know a little bit better over these last five or six years. This vibrant democracy, this extraordinary multicultural society, this relentlessly entrepreneurial economy, is so much to give to the wider area. Uh, and I think, you know, the task ahead is to build on the links that we have and to ensure that they continue to flourish in the years ahead. You mentioned a, a, a very important phrase there, the eye on the prize, three governments working together, locally perhaps as worry, the eye on the prize, the prize being Gibraltar and Spain just playing along, that they're uh, actually working alongside the other two governments, but also with the intention of always making advances on sovereignty. Look, uh, Spain has its views on sovereignty, we have ours. Uh, I genuinely think that in the almost 30 years that I have worked for the British government, that our cooperation with the government of Gibraltar has never been stronger and our commitment on sovereignty never clearer. I mean, locally at the Gibraltar level, we've also been very uh, pro towards working together, collaborating, especially with the regional governments. Um, we always see contradictory actions uh, from the central government in Madrid. We always have that worry that Spain is ready to pounce and lately, well, in the last week or so, we've uh, seen Spain bring up the whole colony issue. Um, obviously, the European Union has, described, um, has been included in a footnote, but pushed by Spain. What do you make of that? Well, look, Gibraltar isn't a colony. Uh, uh, I know that, you know that, your viewers know that. Uh, but also, let's also look at kind of the, the substance of where we are in terms of the the bits of no deal contingency planning the European Union is doing and that was of course part of a, of a, of a piece of work that was ensuring visa-free access for Gibraltarians as, as well as uh, other UK nationals. So uh, the rhetoric is sometimes unfortunate, doesn't change the reality, reality of Gibraltar, uh, the reality of Gibraltar's relationship with the rest of the UK family and I think we need to kind of stay calm and move forward and keep our eyes on the prize, which uh, the prize that I see is the prize 
of greater shared prosperity in this whole region. Do you think uh, Spain understand the reality of Gibraltar or they don't want to understand the reality of Gibraltar? We've only seen uh, recently Moratinos who is in Gibraltar. Nobody wants to come here for, for the obvious reasons. But do you think they understand the reality of Gibraltar or they don't want to understand it? Well, I think there's you know, one of my tasks, to be honest, as uh, ambassador working uh, with the government of Gibraltar uh, is to try and explain the contemporary reality of uh, Gibraltar, right? this, sort of this thriving territory multicultural society, entrepreneurial economy, vibrant democracy. That's the, that's the Gibraltar I know.